Hello. I'm back with another video. With a, what I'm not already out with another video. Um, I just got back from my walk. I got some guac there. I got some tortilla chips because we are going to make some guac. And I'm going to make a veggie stir fry. Um, but I wanted to come on here and share another tidbit of my journey. <laughs> Um, one thing I've learned about France is what you're seeing right here, right now. Um, water to cup. <laughs> water to glass cup. <laughs> right? I mean, usually in America, it's, you know, but no, like, you know, it, it is nice. It's, it's nice. It's a, I don't know what you'd call it, but, you know, it's just a way of, of doing things. Um, and I think I will start doing this. <laughs> you know, every restaurant, every table you go to, there's cups, you know, water cups, glass cups and then the water you know um, for you to pour yourself um, I actually want to make like a TikTok about this like <laughs> things I've learned in, in France as an American um, yeah I think uh, yeah we'll put my water right here um, okay let me get the ingredients Alright. Well, I guess first I want to make some guac, so... Oh, well, I guess we can pull it. Cilantro, I need the onion. We don't need the green pepper yet. So... And then I need... A bowl. Wet. And... Forks. Jesus Christ, that's not okay. <laughs> that's not okay. I don't do that in public. I don't do that in public. Um, so yeah, I wanted to title this video. Uh, I'm gonna like guide you through some guac as well as talk about my experiences. Um, because as I stated in my wow, this is so cute. It's in a little um this. Uh, that. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so I need to wash this. I'll probably stick a little bit of this in the stir fry because I don't need that much cilantro. Put some bugs on my onion. Wash that off. Wash this off. Yada yada. Towel. Is there only one towel in the vicinity? Oh no, it's right here. <laughs> it's red. Oh! Did you see that? That was a nice catch. Alright. This video will be as long as it is. Um, I know that with like the YouTube algorithms and people don't like sitting and watching things for very long, but I'm gonna talk so. If you want to listen, you can listen. And you want to learn how to make some guac, you want to learn how to make some veggies, stick around. Um, and then there's no cutting board that I see. So I'm going to a plate. Okay, so first step. First step. First step. First step. First step. Aguacate. Um, okay, yeah, so... I wanted to title this, oh, that sound, not okay. And then I need a spoon. Um, I wanted to title this video, Things Have Been Getting Intense. <laughs> Things have been getting very intense and it's going back and forth between me absolutely fucking thriving and like, holy shit, you know? I'm in God's hands, right? Still am, but <clears throat> there are times like, you know, back and forth uh, between uh, next step, you want to do a little bit of this. You want to, uh, what's the word? Latitude, longitude. <laughs> little, little latitude and longitude lines here, okay? With your aguacate, all right? And then you're going to scoop it out. One, two into the bowl um things are getting very intense 
in the sense of like I talked yesterday, yesterday, a few days ago in my, in my video, um, about deja vu, but for me, their visions, their visions, their alignments, and I have had a vision of this, this place, okay, I don't know if you can see, but if you see this soap up here, right, okay, so from the perspective of me sitting at this toilet, okay, and I look up here, I remember having a dream about that. I remember that. I remember having a dream about that. Um, and I want to say it was, was it in high school? Maybe it was. I had a lot of visions in high school. Um, okay. So, yep, I remember that. And then everything's just getting really, really intense for the reasons being when I walk outside, everywhere that I look, every person that I see, I remember. All right. I remember as in constant visions. Every single moment is a vision. Every single moment. I remember, for example, I'm walking home, right? I'm almost back here. Um, home, you know, to this. this. I make every, everywhere I go is a home. Okay. Everywhere I am. I make it a home. That's why I, that's why I say home. Like, you know, when I was going back to my other Airbnb, Airbnb or what, I would say home, you know, because it's like, it feels like home because I make it home. Um, you know, I make myself food and just I'm vibing. Okay. Um, part of me was like, did I just put, put the avocado in here? I, I think I did. And I don't, Oh, is there no salt? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn. All I have here is olive oil, vinaigrette, and thyme. So most of the time the B&Bs have like seasonings. And I knew, I still looked on the shelf, didn't see any salt, was gonna get salt, forgot. Salt is essential. Okay, so we're gonna do a guac without salt, which is totally fine, but the flavor is so much better when you add salt. Okay, so just letting you know. Anyway, for example, I was walking home and you're gonna take your forks, okay? You're gonna take your forks back and forth, we're going back and forth here, take your forks and you're gonna and you're gonna smash. Um or you would use a potato masher, that's much better. Alright, but we don't got that. Forks work just fine. Um for example, I'm walking home, okay, I'm walking by the cathedral. Um, if you guys have my snap, if you have my Instagram, you would see that. I'm about to walk by, and there's three young men walking in front of me. One one's kind of tall, has like curly hair. Another one has a V-Lone sweatshirt on that's like pink, and the V is pink, and, the, and it has like blue vines on it. And then the other guy, can't remember what he was wearing, but I, oh, he had a black and white sweater on with um like some like just kind of graph graphics like lines and stuff i remember that i remember that visions i had this is not even necessarily like a dream i couldn't tell you a specific time i had that but it's like i could tell you a specific time i had this dream you know i remember that very vividly and of course i remember everything else vividly but um and then in front of them, you know, they crossed in front of me walking the other way. And then there was this other woman that had like this tealish backpack on. She had like, like a mahogany kind of, or purplish shirt on. And then next up, I'm walking, there's just two women in front of me. She has this backpack on like this knapsack string thing that has like a do not enter sign on it, but it's like red, it has the white line in the center. I, everything. And I'm taking all of this, not necessarily that, I already know, it already feels like I'm on the precipice of something, on the cusp of something. Um, I mean, like I said in my other video, um, I mean, I exited the matrix, right? So <laughs> I'm just out here vibing. And I'm having all of these visions, prophetic visions, okay? Ancient knowledge that was given to me very long, long ago, right? And it's a very important time right now. <laughs> Of course, um, very important time. Um, shit's about to go crazy. Um, but I had a really, really, really beautiful moment with, with God today. 
Um, and you know, God is whoever it is for you. And I don't mean, I don't want to come off preachy. I don't want to come off like, eh, like, you know, whatever that, whatever, if you're a spiritual person, right? Like I mentioned in the last video, you know, disclaimer, I'm not telling you how to be, not telling you how to believe, not telling you what to do. I'm telling you how I see things and what makes sense to me, what feels right to me. And what feels right to me is to say the term God, because it's, it sounds very personal and it sounds like he's my friend, right? He's my own person. Like it's me, right? I mean, it's your own self, but I see it as like reality it itself, very personal re relationship with life itself. Okay. And I, ha I call that God, you know, that's, that term sounds right to me. Um, you know, spirit is a good one too. Um, I almost want to say spirit is like, I almost associate that with spirit guides and there are a lot with me. Right. And especially on this journey, I've been feeling like one in front of me. I've been feeling a very specific one here on the left. Um, another little one behind me, not like little one, but one behind me. Like I've been feeling at least three that are just orbiting me at all times. And there's always one with you, but then also in a, um, like spiritual protection, energetic sense, there are tens of thousands of, of, of beings with me. Okay. I have an army of energetic protection. Okay. Um, that's probably why people don't fuck with me. That's why people don't talk to me because they know. And there are times when I go back and forth with ego kind of saying like, you know, <laughs> wanting that, not necessarily wanting the social interaction, but it's like, and of course I'm a lone wolf, right? I'm just, I'm a girl alone walking. And so it's like, most people wouldn't really approach that. But I, you know, of course I've had like, of course males approach me. I've only had like on this journey. I mean, here in Montpellier, I've had two. Okay. Um, but there are times when I'm like, why don't people talk to me? Why don't people approach me? And it's like, okay, well, because they can't, <laughs> because you know, you can, I mean, everyone has that innate intuition and sense. When you look at a person, you can like just assess and address them without you really even knowing you're doing it. And you just like say yes or no, really. You're kind of like, oh, I can approach this person or not. Right. And that's okay if they don't. And, um, you also want to make sure your avocado is soft and brown. All right. Um, maybe let it sit for a day. Um, <laughs> guac recipe or, you know, eternal sacred knowledge to guac recipe. <laughs> um, so yeah, you want to make sure she's all mashed up. Um, and the salt is essential. I don't have the salt. Maybe I can switch for it. Maybe he does. The guy who owns this place. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, and then I got myself a little sweet treat. Okay, and then today, this morning, I got some breakfast. I had some bacon pancakes with motherfucking cream cheese. Are you kidding me? Now I'm gonna make that at home. I ain't never thought of that. I'm gonna go, uh, no, I'm learning so many things, right? I mean, that when you travel, right? Of course, when you go out in the little world that we're in, other cultures and things, and a lot of beautiful, um, um, um a lot of beautiful, traditions here in France. Okay. Um, so, uh, anyway, um, and they're just so like fucking like innovative and like, there's just so much beauty here. Okay. I mean, I think that's why there's a lot of, uh, are a lot of like artistic movements and art things. A lot of, a lot of, you could say the more profound ones are the ones that made we're in the history books or things from France. And I, I know there's things from like Spain and Netherlands and, and, um, you know, stuff like that. So I'm not dissing that by any means. I also de-seed and kind of get out this pit of the Roma tomato, Roma tomatoes. Okay. For your guac, um, Roma, nothing else. So yeah, I'm kind of scraping out the seeds here and then I kind of cut off the top. And I make it in this knife. All right, this is what we're working with. Um, okay, and then, yeah, we're going to do it this way because it's easier. And kind of cut it pretty thin, like thin lines. And then in thin little squares. I don't want to dice it. Uh, anyway, so, right, we're back to the sacred uh, ancient knowledge. <laughs> so... 
Yeah. And anyway, uh, then my moment with God, right? Okay, so I'm at this park. And I'm walking to the, I'm on the way, uh, walking to the address of this Airbnb for my other Airbnb. And I come across this park that if you know, again, if you have me on Snapchat, you saw, and there's this statue of like a unicorn and something else, right? But it's just this perfect little courtyard, okay? Jesus Christ, just perfect little courtyard, okay? <laughs> and perfect like sunlight and everything. And... I, I was like, oh, because I actually, no, I had the address into a different park I was going to go sit at until I could check in. Um, and then I came across this on the way. And I was like, I want to sit here for a little bit. I want to sit here. And so I do. Um, and there's a lot of profound moments. And I mean, again, visions I remember. For example, I'm sitting um, kind of at the edge. And I'm telling you, it's just profound because I um, remember a specific moment as well, like when I had a dream about it. So I'm sitting there kind of on this edge and in front of me, there's some benches like over to my right. Um, and then uh, these two ladies come and sit down. One of them had like these heels on, these kind of like thicker heels. And of course she took them off to rest her feet and I knew she was gonna do that. Like you looking at her feet, they're honestly kind of swollen. And I was like, she's gonna take those off, ain't no way. And she did, but um, and then her friend who had like a kind of a, um, the words that just came to my mind, do I make the joke or not? <laughs> um, anyway, she had like a pixie haircut, okay. Um, blonde like a uh, platinum blonde pixie haircut and she had a vape kind of like a big mod vape and she she seemed like she was at least 60 and her friend as well and her friend you can just kind of like I just like looking at people I love people watching right I'm sure you could tell that by just by who I am but I love people watching observing and the other woman seemed like she was a little more like uh you know, not that the other woman didn't care about how she looked, but the other woman had like more, um, a more like p pretty energy to her. I'm not saying the other woman wasn't pretty, if you know what I mean. Just like care in how she looked and the more soft energy. Um, and she had like this, uh, soft, like olive green, um, jacket on. And I remember that. I remember those two ladies sitting there and I'm sitting here, I look at them and I'm, and, and I have it all written down as well. Um, I've been writing this stuff down, like for example, and then I remember I have a vision of me sitting down. I have a vision of me writing it down, you know, like it's just been super intense. Like every moment of my life. Okay. Um, that was, a, I wrote down another intense moment. Um, I remember the ladies on the park bench, one dressed in olive green, the other with a vape. I remember the man with the rainbow vest. I have not known peace until now. Thank you. You know, like when I was sitting there in that park and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was just like, I have not known peace until now. And it was just the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful moments of my life to where I even said this moment, God, please allow me to revisit. It's a sacred one. You know, um, like how I said in the previous video, we get a rundown of what we're going to do before we come here. Um, you're going to dump your tomatoes in there. And I just kind of let everything sit while I chop. Anyway. Um, forgot what I was saying. But, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that we revisit or you know we get a rundown and if I may say this may be hard for some of you to understand and I'm, I'm just saying that in a sense of um but I think it'll make sense but for those of you who are maybe not familiar with kind of things like this things that are beyond human things that are beyond this reality I have a pretty firm grasp of okay so what I'm about to say again just try and process 
what I've come to understand is those moments, these deja vu, these visions moments, right? Where you feel God present. You feel your own self present. You feel your higher self present. You feel your ascended self present. You feel your guides present in those moments. And it's in those moments. It is the same, at the same moment. Is it a rundown of what you're going to do before you are born? And then also when you die. When you pass, I'm sure we've all heard the term, life flashing before our eyes. Those are those moments. The moments of the life flash before your eyes. These moments where you feel God. These moments where you feel peace and, pe you know, yourself around you. It's those moments. And it's not different. Those moments don't have a, they're not a different place in time. Time is here. It's human. It's what we've done to organize things. But it is the same exact moment. The one where you're shown before you come and the one that you see before you die. All right, because after you die, and it, it's pretty profound because I know that's why I said, God, please allow me to revisit this. And I know it will, right? Because I felt myself there. And I'm 24. <laughs> I, got, I got a long way to go, right? But I know that when I pass and I revisit these moments, those, when you revisit those moments, I feel my own damn self because I am helping my own self in this life after I die. <laughs> that's complex, but that's what it is. That's what it is, okay? Because I can feel myself, my own self in these moments. I can hear my own self helping me through moments that I only do after I pass. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there because you know, you can do what you will with that information. Dismiss it, uh, think about it. Um, but I think I made it pretty clear the the mathematics of it, <laughs> the, how it, the breakdown, how that works, okay? So it was just incredibly profound at the park today and the sun was shining on me and I felt warmth and peace and love and serenity. And I just have never felt so much at peace in my life. And I remember that moment. And then, you know, more people come and go. More people are coming up the stairs. I remember them. I remember their outfits. I remember who they are. I remember it. I remember everything. And it's just been incredibly profound. And, you know, and like I was saying earlier, there are times when back and forth between what the friggity frack am I doing here? Right? You know, living off my savings, not having a plan. However, I know, like I said, you know, I know my music's going to pull through. I got a plan. I got a plan for that. And then it's only really when you let go, do things start to work. You can't, you just, you just simply cannot have control all the time. We are a product of Gaia, we are of Mother Earth. We are a product of God. So what makes you think that you, yourself, your human self, I, I, I was going to say little human self, but I'm not wanting to diminish your power. But what makes you think that you have control of your life? But I mean, of course you do. But I mean, in a sense of like, that when there are situations to where you have no control, that you actually cannot control, what makes you think you can? So that's when you have to let go. You know, um, so I've been seeing all the signs, all the signs, all the synchronicities. I'm going to save part of this for my stir fry. So that goes right in here. Some onion and the rest of it goes right in my guac. You can also... Excuse me. <laughs> you can also put guac up. Uh, you can put guac and guac. You can put uh, garlic. 
in the block as well. But I do not have any, and I do not want to. Wasn't uh, wise for me to buy a whole clove when I can't really take it with me. Um, so we got jalapeno. I've made it without jalapeno. You know, I really um, done cilantro, onion, Roman tomato, lime juice, salt. Uh, avocado and that works just fine too but if you want a little spice definitely put some jalapeno in there and that's I'm gonna put some of this in my stir fry too um, and I also kind of de-seed you know I kind of get the little center squiggly things out um, but yeah so things have been getting intense and um, I am manifesting I feel as though I've had a few people say to me, okay, without me trying, right, or me saying anything, okay, before, even before I left, you know, they say, like, Paris is the city of love, or, like, you know, whatever, and I've had a few people say to me, you might fall in love out there, you might fall in love, you might fall, you might fall in love and never come back, and even already before that, I was kind of feeling something like that, I was feeling I might meet somebody, right? So I feel as though I've been seeing all the signs and synchronicities for something is that for something like that as well. Um, I feel as though the specific color for me is red. I've been seeing a lot of red. I've been seeing people wearing red, red coats, red socks, red pants, red blah, 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 red red purses. It's getting crazy. It's getting intense. And something I also want to <laughs> express is like, and I, I don't want to say I'm a victim of it or guilty of it, but I look for validation everywhere else but the world around me, right? You know, like on TV or YouTube, you know, like I watch tarot readings on YouTube and things like that. And looking for validation from somebody else's mouth when can literally just sit down and ask and I already know the answer I know the answer I know that I'm good I know that I'm gonna fall into exactly what I need to I know that I'm walking the path but ego says <laughs> I'll make sure I'm still recording yeah oh. wait um yeah so so, uh, yeah, and I didn't finish earlier. For example, um, when I got here, I was actually pretty tired. Of course, like, um, long story short, I, I guess this isn't really pertinent information, but I'm, ex I'm going to get to, I'm explaining as to why I'm going to get to the point I'm getting to, <laughs> giving the backstory. Like, with the bacon pancakes I had, um, I'm a ve I was a vegetarian for, like, five years. So, and I've been eating meat, I've been eating meat since October, so I'm very used to it now. But, um, bacon especially, and that was a lot of bacon, <laughs> like, fills me up, of course, right? So, um, I was feeling super full and, like, tired, wanted to nap, but then I kind of had a moment where I was like, what the fuck is going on, bro? You know? Like... I don't want to bring in negative words like like delusional or you know things like that but that's uh, you know back and forth I'm like what the hell is happening am I uh -huh. you know like what and I would get a little it's like I can feel it um I've gotten to a point you could say I've elevated myself to a point where I can feel energy swirling in my body so it's like, I, like in my head, I can write like, um, I can feel, I can feel like the, you could call it crown chakra, third eye chakra activated. All right. And Ener that energy, um, spiral that goes up your body, right? The spinal fluid. Whenever I get a confirmation about things, I'll either get chills or I will uh, feel, I'll hear clicks in the back of my neck because the fluid is moving right 
So I will literally hear and feel like clicks, like, like, you know, right. Um, and so I'll hear that. Um, but so anyway, I was feeling full, tired, wanted a nap. And then I was kind of getting in this headspace of, what am I doing here? And just starting to worry a little bit, right? About the lady and uh, what am I doing? <laughs> um, and, you know, and then I, uh, I had some pretty intense dreams as well. Um, because I came in here, you know, I got checked in, whatever, kind of took a breather and I napped. I, I slept. I slept for a little bit and I was kind of on my phone, on YouTube, scrolling, kind of, kind of doom scrolling a little bit. Like, what the fuck? What am I doing? Oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, anyway, I took a nap, had some pretty intense dreams, very vivid dreams. Um, and even my dreams, I remember okay um i'm a lucid dreamer that you call it but lucid dreaming just sounds tacky <laughs> okay because it's not you're not lucid dreaming you're like you're just tuning in to your own subconscious and other frequencies right and and lessons and things that need to be brought to your attention it's not it's it's it's, it's aggravating to hear like all of these Highly educated, licensed psychologists, active. I'm not. I'm not diminishing. I'm sorry, but you know. But when they like, like when they like, just don't understand what dreams are. What are dreams? What is this? What is that? What do you think it is? You know, like, do you not understand? Really, how beautiful and powerful and magical we are. We 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 literally are. As we're alive beings, and there's. Uh, we're in a universe and we're in a fucking reality right now and then you're like what are dreams how does this work what the fuck do you mean you know it's just like <laughs> shut up you know it's just once people start believing in magic you know what i mean in just the just intense beauty of life itself things will start to make a lot more sense and things make sense to me so one of these days you know, I would love to have a sit down conversation with an astrophysicist with it because I'm very into things like that. And, um, astrophysicists, psychology, like, you know, whatever the hell, let's have a chat. Cause I understand shit. I understand shit. All right. <laughs> and I feel like they need a perspective that is not of the fucking, <sighs> that's not of earth. That's not of human because that's all they know. But it's so aggravating when we just look up to these people when it's just like, they don't know what the fuck's going on, man. <laughs> Anywho, intense dreams I had. Um, I remember the dream, like, the anyway, that's what I was saying, and then I went on a tangent. <laughs> that I remember, as I was saying, like, lucid dream or whatever, I have very vivid dreams. Um, I'm cutting this very slow because I'm talking um but you know I'm in the dream and of course I remember it and I can actively think thoughts in my dream I'm, I'm having these visions right having these dreams visions you know wherever we go you know we're you know, we create our own uh, you know the magic of our uh, how do I say this in human okay <laughs> How do I human this? <laughs> um, it makes sense that we have these visions or dreams, you know, we are tuned into our own subconscious, right? Because we have this power to create our own reality. We are life itself. We are a product of everything around us. So what makes you think that you cannot get what you want, when you want, how you want it? When you believe. And that agitating term placebo effect, like they say it's a bad thing. It's so crazy how they market it. Like, oh, so it's like the medicine doesn't work because it's the placebo effect because you, you believed you could do it. Exactly. It's great. The placebo effect, like, that's so strange how they, how they market it. To say, like, that's a bad thing. So, it's so weird that they make you not believe in yourself. 
how they manipulate you to think that that's not it's so strange so yes if you believe if you have the knowing that you are able yeah I can do that yes I'm a woman alone out here like again, as I, I don't know if I said it in my video, but I said, I, I'm protected, I'm safe. I literally have very ancient beings surrounding me. That's why a lot of people don't fucking talk to me, <laughs> okay? Because they simply cannot match my vibration. They simply cannot match what I, what I am. And that's just fact, all right? That's how it works. You, people come to you, come to your whoever it is that's in your life because they match your vibration, they're a reflection of you somehow, or they have something that they can share with you. And they, uh, you know, you bond somehow on an energetic level. And so, oops, that's not cut. Again, lone wolf. Because not a lot of people are on the vibe that I'm on. And I'll just leave it there, right? So where the fuck was I going with this? <laughs> that, um, well, yeah, you know, it was getting intense, you know, back and forth between like, what the fuck am I doing? You know, I took a nap, had some intense dreams. And then I was like, well, I know I'm going to go walk. I got to go walk. You know, I got to go out. And me even being out, being present, right? People have come up to me, right? You know, like I, I said on my Snapchat story last night, there was this guy that said, you know, I was just walking on the street, right place, right time. You know, and this guy came up to me, he's like, I just saw my ex of five years that I, I've never loved anyone more than her. What would you do in this situation? You know, and I said, move on. Move on, bro. You know, keep walking. Move on. Um, but anyway, so it's, you know, like, just shit like that. And that's what I take, that's something else I wanted to mention, what I take as a sign. You and, you know, taking my own advice, right? Back and forth between knowing, right? I have this deep inner knowing that I'm fucking good. I'm straight. I'm fine. I'm actually golden crispy. But then I, you know, then I'm like, Mah! So, anyway, it's actually quite beautiful when you look, when you actually look outside, right? And, um, you know, that's what I've been doing a lot is I ask God. I'm like, show me. Show me the way. Show me where I need to go. Tell me where I need to go. And then I follow myself, right? I follow, you know, he shows me. And I feel a lot of it on my left side, like left ear. Like I'll hear things or I'm like be pulled more so. So it's like I just follow my gut. I, he tells me where to go. They tell me where to go. And I don't know if, no, I didn't mention it. But uh, I needed some groceries. I was like, I need some groceries. And I was kind of looking at, you know, like the map. And of course, uh, me as an American, you know, I recognize some of the names here like Monopri now, like Monopri is a store, Carrefour City, um, gotta chop your cilantro, and then we'll put the rest in the stir fry. All right, and then I'm gonna take this here my lime and it's actually okay to leave your lime out if you didn't know just let it just leave it out it's cool um and then we got all our ingredients here right and this is how i do it i don't even mix it up all right and then i got my oh oh that's not a good sign uh -uh. okay um a little squeezy squeeze and this this lime is cut for some reason like the skin and then I, just, I go ham. I go ham on my limes. Like I just... Everything. Like full on. Even like the little palpable things. Everything. Yeah, for some reason this lime is kind of like tough. Um, I'll have to show you how I make some like lime rice. Because that's good. Dump it on in there. Squeeze it on out, and then maybe kind of move some shit around because I don't want it all in the cilantro. Gotta get it everywhere else. Um, 
anyway, you know, I'm like, okay, God, show me, show me where to go. And then I was like, I need some groceries. And I was out with my other Airbnb. No, I was at the one before that, and I was on a journey walk, and I was like, I need some groceries. Show me where to go. And guess where he led me to? The grocery store. <laughs> when you put down your phone, and you look at the beauty of life, or you literally just ask God, you ask your guides, whatever you would like to say, okay, for me, it's God. Show me the way. Show me a grocery store. I followed my, my heart, I followed my body, where they told me to go, where he told me to go. I'm a grocery store. And I was like, hmm. cool. You know, when you put down your phone, and I was, it's actually quite beautiful. I like to take it as a sign as well, to leave a place or to go a direction when I see a person going that way. It's actually really, really fucking cool and beautiful, like right in front of your eyes, you know? So it's like I'm walking, right? And then I have a feeling. I'm like, okay, maybe I should go that way. And then I see a person walk that way. And I'm like, okay, so that means I, I go that way. Or, for example, like, when I'm, for example, when I was, um, I'm supposed to stir this. Um, now we can stir. At this moment in time, you would put salt, but I have no salt. Which is freaking silly. Absolutely. <laughs> barbaric. Oh, he has right. <gasps> nice. And guess what else he has? Some nest. Some quick. Jesus, that's a childhood flashback right there. And that is mint tea. Very good. Very good. But we do not have any salt. None. Absolutely none whatsoever. I'm going to take another gander. Nope, no salt. That's fine. But you must pound on the salt here. At this mo moment in time right here, when you got everything stacked up, salt. But, you know, if you got high cholesterol, if you got, I don't think that's the right word. If you got, I don't know. If you can't have salt, then that's perfect. You know, then just don't even worry about it. Um, I was working with this girl. I feel like there's a lot of women named Destiny, so I'm just going to say that's what her name was because it's not really that specific, right? I mean, there's a lot of women named Destiny. I'm not saying it's not special, but it's just like, I worked with a woman named Destiny, and <laughs> she said something one time where she was like, I'm, I'm the type of person that, at my old job, where she was like, I like to eat when I'm cooking. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, me too. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, you know, I'll be snacking while I'm cooking something. That's like just vibes. But anyway, um... Yeah, and so, like, if I'm sitting down somewhere and I'm feeling like, okay, you know, maybe time to leave soon, got to get up, and I'll see a person ride by on a bike, or I'll see a person ride by on a scooter, and I'm like, okay, that's a sign for me to leave, you know? And when you actually just look out into your world, and you ask, God, for a sign, you ask, you ask life itself, right? For which way do I go? What do I do? Look. And you'll find it. You'll see it. You'll see a person doing something or it's like, oh, should I go this way? Should I go for it? And maybe you see a person get up and walk. That's your sign that you got to do it. And it's actually just so beautiful, you know? Everyone has their own divine story. Everyone has their own story written in the stars. Everyone, as you would say, everyone has their own Akashic record. Excuse me. Is another term. And... I was explaining this to a friend one time where, moment of truth, you know, like for example, me, I'm just walking, I'm just walking down the street, right? I go to the Mono Pre, which is actually kind of far from here, but I love taking walks. I'm walking, you know, um, kind of in the downtown area of Mono, uh, Montplea, Montplea, and then my Airbnb is a little north of downtown, but I forgot a bag, and so I, I got a red bell pepper chips and then I went somewhere else to get a water because I forgot I had to get a water once I walked out and you know I'm walking with my chips like this just down the street and I got my red pepper and I got my red pepper in my pocket and then for some people because some people are probably looking at me like you know you see a girl walking with some chips right and they're probably like 
for just a second, right? They're like, oh, chip bag, right? You just like notice things and you're just like, oh, that's a part of their story to see me. Just like it was a part of that guy's story yesterday to ask me, I walk up divine timing, right? Perfect timing to ask me a question. I can't, I just saw my ex. What do I do? I was the one he asked. I'm from all the way from motherfucking America. I happen to be here at this time, at this place, for this mother trucker to ask me, what do I do about my ex? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Salt, and we're going. in the in the pan to get that kind of limey aroma and I'm gonna dump all these shreddings but yeah so um but yeah so here's my red pepper red pepper in my pocket oh, rinse and rinse So yeah, um, life is beautiful. <clears throat> My phone cut off because I had no more storage. So that's a damn shame. Um, we're over here still stir frying. Pardon me, I'm chewing. <laughs> but this is what. Uh, we got for our rice. It actually turned out pretty good. I had to add a little more water towards the end because it wasn't soft enough. Um, but yeah, it actually turned out pretty good. I kind of like that idea of doing the rice after with all the like oils and stuff of the veggies. And yeah, it actually turned out pretty good. Um, so this is what we got here. This is my din. This is my snack. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me if you're still here. Um, it was a little chaotic because my phone cut off. But, you know, said everything I needed to say. So, um, appreciate you guys tuning in. I will be in Barcelona tomorrow. So, I will check back in with you then. And be safe. Love you. See you soon. Bye.